So a question I often get asked in Rec Room is how did you learn circuits? And it's kind of a two part answer to that. Like. Shut up, coach. Looks like you're and the there's... first one here. Shut up, coach. You... <laughs> so there's kind of two two answers to that because as most of you know, we have C V one and C V two, although now it's just circuits, but or legacy. Let's call it legacy. So for the C V one answer, honestly the first time I played Rec Room I didn't like it. It wasn't until I found circuits that I actually kind of found something to enjoy about Rec Room. I don't know, that just appealed to me. I'm a very kind of mathematical person. So I kind of went into a room and messed around with some CV1 circuits and didn't fully grasp like what was going on and how to do stuff. So as most of us do, I Googled it and I found this page called fandom.com. And there was a specific, you know, there's a whole page on circuits, but there was a specific page that was circuit diagrams. And it's got a whole bunch of different examples of different like mechanisms and things you can do with CV1. I'll link it in the description. So basically I went into a room and I had the page open either on my phone or on my laptop and I went through and I built every little thing. I mean, they've added more on there since. But at the time I went through and, and, and built everything and kind of learned it from there. Now CV2, in my opinion, is a much better story. So there I was plugging away, working on CV1, and then one day they released the CV2 update. I tried it, I literally, I had no idea what was going on. I was so confused, like what? There's, there's this orange cable, there's all these different colored wires, I have no idea what's going on, right? So naturally at that point you can't Google anything because there is no information about it. Because there's no information on it, I I just had to try and figure it out. Well, luckily, Rec Room had a CV2 section of the Discord server. So, just like in Discord now, I would go in there and I wouldn't say anything, but I would watch the server. There was a guy in there named Yoz, and actually, I think he died about six months ago, so F in the chat for him. He would go and build something with CV2 circuits, and then he would post a picture of it in the CV2 Discord. And then I would see that picture, and I would just go into Rec Room and copy what he did until I got it to work. And then once I got it to work, you know, that, that kind of built my knowledge a little bit. And I did that probably about three or four times until I got confident enough to like try and do stuff on my own. From then on, honestly, it's just been me experimenting and then also, you know, meeting people and people kind of giving me a little bit of information here and there. Doing that was probably the most helpful thing is, is finding somebody who's made something and copying what they did and then, you know, kind of using that learning to, to make your own stuff. And there's also a circuit handbook now on the Rec Room website. I'll link that below as well. I, I read that. So anyway, if you enjoy this type of content, make sure to let me know in the comments. Use code RCL1. RCL.